Hello, my name is Alex Metcher from the Public Knowledge Project, and this is a demonstration of a technical uh, feasibility test we did on integration between FIDUS Writer and Open Journal Systems. FIDUS Writer is a web based open source word processor, and Open Journal Systems is an open source web based journal management system. I'll demonstrate two interactions we tried uh, as author by logging into this copy of OJS and beginning a new submission. If you're familiar with OJS, then this will look uh, very similar to what you've used before. It's a five-step submission process, and the modification comes in at the second step. Typically, this is where the author would be asked to find and upload a file from their local system, typically a Word document or an Open document file. Instead, they're sent to uh, FIDUS Writer. FIDUS Writer will look like a, a normal web-based word processor. Uh, I'll only demonstrate some of the very basic features here. But it allows you to author a submission with a few, uh, a few uh, details that are oriented towards the academic author. In particular, there's a number of tools for managing citations so that authors can focus on entering citations with correct data rather than having to know the details of each citation format that the journal might require. For the moment, I'll just demonstrate setting this into Open Journal Systems. which will upload the document to OJS and send the author back. We notice here that the title and abstract that were entered within FIDUS Writer are now available within OJS. This is a very simple example of the kinds of interactions that become easy once the submission is available to OJS in a semantically rich format. I'll finish the submission process. This will result in an email confirming the submission to the author and also a message to the editor uh, informing them that there's a new submission to work with. We'll log in with a user that's got an editor role, find the submission, and for the sake of expediency, I will assign myself as editor and inform the author that they require revisions. Once again, this will trigger an email to the author to let them know that there's something to be done. So we'll log in again as author. Once again, we'll find the submission. And we'll note under the review area that the decision is recorded here, that the original submission file is available here, and that we also have this option to revise the document. Uh, in a stock version of OJS, this would be a download-upload process whereby the author would download uh, typically a Word document and then edit it with their word processor and then upload the file again to the journal. In this case we have a revise button. This revise button will take us once again into FIDUS Writer where we'll be editing the original version of the file to add our uh, revisions to it. Once again I can save to OJS. And now I can see in the submission that we not only have our original version of the document, but we also have the revised version. This illustrates that we've been able to integrate a cloud-based uh, word processing tool with, while still being able to preserve the uh, integrity of the document so that we can later come back and audit it. We're not permitting anybody to edit the document at any particular time. That illustrates two interactions that were important to implement, uh, one being the creation of a new document during the submission process, the second being our revision process. And this can be expanded, of course, to, um, to apply to all the various uh, areas of the OGS workflow that, that require revisions to be uploaded. Our next steps for this are going to be to identify some journals that are interested in working with us on defining requirements for things like simultaneous editing so that we can take advantage of their abilities to um, incorporate future workflows such as allowing reviewers and authors to work together on uh, revisions to the document while still preserving the academic record. We'll also be looking for funding to allow us to continue to experiment with this. If you are either a journal interested in working with us or a funding agency interested in providing some resources towards this kind of research, you can contact us myself at alec at smetcher.bc.ca or anybody on our respective teams at the URLs I opened with, fidusfighter.org or pkp.sfu.ca. Thank you very much for watching.